I love you. Stop! <laughs> I'm not crying. I got like dirt in my eye or something. Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to talk to you guys about the complete sixth season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now this review will contain tons of spoilers through the whole entire season. So if you've never seen this and you don't like getting spoiled on shows, definitely watch this show on Hulu. It's definitely worth your time. It is a great show overall. But let's get into season six now. I think a lot of people, this season seems to be mixed on reviews. I still really enjoyed this season. It was kind of hard to go off of season five because I think season five was so great but overall I, I still really enjoy this season there's a lot of the storyline that I still really like there's only a couple like main complaints I have with this season one Giles does leave he is out of this season quite a bit and I love Giles as a character so I really wished he was in this season more and then also the trio Jonathan Warren and Andrew I did not really like these guys as the main villains they they went from glory last season to being like a super great fun villain this trio like every time they were on screen I basically didn't care what they were doing I didn't care about these characters like I felt like they had no motivation like Warren asked the two guys hey you guys just want to take over Sunnydale and they just say yes and I felt like there was like no true motivation from these guys at least glory had a motivation that I understood I just could not believe that these guys would actually just straight up take over Sunnydale and I just couldn't really vibe with that they did some stuff throughout the season that actually made for some great episodes but like when they were on screen definitely weaker probably the weakest villains of the series for me there's a lot of stuff I like overall I like that Buffy comes back and she was like in heaven and they thought she was in hell I thought that whole storyline was great this season did feel a little more depressing throughout mainly because of what was going on but it was kind of intriguing what was going on like the stuff with Willow getting dependent on magic and Tara leaving for a part of the season and then finally coming back I feel like Buffy would definitely be depressed if you were in heaven and you got brought back to this place it would definitely feel like hell like she feels so it makes sense and the relationship with her and Spike gets really crazy in this season like they start sleeping together and it starts getting kind of wild it's like the only way that Buffy can like feel anything and she just can't believe what she's doing but she just keeps doing it because she just feels like this is the only way I can feel anything in this hell she feels like earth is hell now but I think I was in heaven and now I'm not I was torn out of there pulled out by my friends Everything I feel, everything I touch, this is hell. And I love the Dark Willow stuff at the end of the season. It's not very much of the season. It's only like a few episodes. Probably because the trio takes a backseat and she's like the main villain for a few episodes and I love her. So really dug that storyline there. But yeah, overall this season was somewhat depressing but it makes sense for the storyline they decided to tell. I still really enjoy this. I love the core group that's still around that they carry over from season 5 minus Giles a lot this season it's got a few flaws here and there but overall still really enjoyed this i do want to talk about a few episodes of season six for you guys and get into some details but first let's talk about bargaining part one and two that is the season premiere a uh, great two-parter they had they had to really kind of open big this season because season five was so great and that season finale was so good i kind of like how they started off this season i love how the gang they carry this 
this over. They did this in season three. Like when Buffy's gone, the gang is still fighting vampires. They kind of take over for Buffy and I love all that. And they actually are using the Buffy bot because they don't want the underworld and everybody surrounded by the hell mouth to know that Buffy actually indeed died. So they are using the Buffy bot that Spike had made in the last season. And I, I think Sarah Michelle Geller had a lot of fun just playing that Buffy robot and you could just tell she was having a blast throughout this first episode. But Giles ultimately does decide to leave. He feels like there's nothing left for him here. It's right when the gang decides that they are ready to do the spell to bring Buffy back. And I love the way when they are doing the spell that Willow does get tested throughout the spell and she's getting cuts on her on her arms and she's getting like a snake coming out of her mouth. I just like all those little tests she was doing. And of course the Buffy bot did fight a vampire and the vampire found out that it was a she was a robot so he does go out of town and tells all these demons hey Sunnydale doesn't have a slayer right now and they all decide to go wreck, wreck havoc on Sunnydale and I love how they're just destroying the town the gang thinks they fell at resurrection Buffy and they all take off trying to get away from all the demons and everything and I love the visual of when Buffy comes back she's like a corpse then you see just wide of her eyes her dead eyes and they come to life great effect there I love that effect and she does actually ultimately does have to crawl out of the grave and I just love just seeing her come back she's in her coffin and then it cuts to credits so you instantly want to see the next part of this Buffy does crawl her way out she's very disoriented everything is blurry she is just wandering around town she ultimately does start to fight the demons and she does help her friends but then she takes off and she winds up at the tower where season five ended so I love like kind of the book in here it was a great way to end season five and kind of restart into season six because season five really was supposed to be the series finale and since they decided to continue the show I like how they go back up to the tower Buffy's all confused she thinks she's she feels like she's supposed to jump again and die and Dawn does end up finding her she is up on the tower this tower starts like getting ready to crumble down Buffy I love how Buffy is all confused and Don keeps trying to talk her down Don's like we got to get off this tower hurry up it's gonna fall and I love how Buffy asks am I in hell they get off the tower and the tower crumbles down and then Don hugs Buffy and says you're home you made it you are home and the look on Buffy's face you can just tell she does not want to be there you can tell something is off about where she was was she actually in hell and of course this jump starts the season I thought bargaining part one and two was a great season opener for this season loved those two episodes and even though this season's kind of depressing and everything in parts I love the episode Once More with Philly and that was a really fun episode and a lot of fun songs and I love that the songs actually is part of the storyline it has something to do with what's going on Spike song rest in peace that was a really cool song it was a little more rock than the other songs of the episode and I love in this episode that it is revealed and through song Buffy was in heaven and her friends finds out and the look on Willow's face you could just tell Willow just feels so bad for taking Buffy out of heaven and bringing her back to earth. I just love how they decided to reveal this storyline to all her friends. They decided to do it in this really, really fun episode. And I don't know if it's because of Buffy, but I feel like a lot of shows do this now. If they last more than a few seasons, they want to do like a fun musical filled episode. So yeah, Once More is Filling was definitely a fun episode. But of course, another favorite episode of this season is called wrecked this is the episode where like in the previous episode willow amy does come back she's been a rat for years and i love how amy was a rat that long and they finally just bring her back willow is powerful enough to turn her back from a rat They've been like partying all night, doing all all sorts of magic. Willow definitely 
get independent on magic. Just like closing blinds, she would use magic like for every little day task. And of course, this starts to cause a lot of tension be between her and Tara. Willow does some magic, like they have an argument. She does a magic with a flower or petal. She kind of erases the argument from Tara's mind. And of course, Tara loses it. She said, why are you messing with my mind after what Glory did to me? Amy shows Willow where this guy named Rack is if you want to get into some more powerful magic, darker magic. So they show up and Rack just fills this aura off of Willow. He says there is something really strong and powerful about Willow. And she starts to get addicted to like doing all this dark magic and ultimately like nobody's home and Willow is wanting to go see Rack again. She pulls Dawn in with her and Willow just doesn't care. She just wants this high that she's getting from this magic and Willow does like summon a demon from doing all this dark magic and everything with Rack and the demon starts to go after Don and Willow. They jump into a car. Willow's using magic to like drive the car and Willow's kind of get having fun having a high while Don is all freaking out and they're trying to get away from this demon. They end up wrecking the car. Don does break her arm and they get into this huge thing where Willow does look at Don and like she starts to break down and she apologizes to Don. Don slaps her and Buffy just says you need to get off this magic you need to stay away from Don and like the way Willow breaks down such great acting and I think Allison Hannigan does a great job this entire season she has a great story arc and her acting in this episode was so well done so wrecked I thought was a great episode get up I screwed it up. Everything, Tara. Yeah, you know what? You did screw up, okay? You could have killed her. You almost did. I know, I know. I can't stop, Buffy. I've tried and I can't. You can. I can't. I can't. I just, God, I need help. Please. All right, another great episode I like is called Dead Things. Now, Dead Things was the episode where the trio, they do the spell so they can have like a slave girl robot or a slave girl to be their sex slave. It's crazy. Like I said, every time the trio's on screen, like I really don't care about this trio of villains. I don't really take them seriously, but they do a few things that lead into some great episodes like Warren's ex-girlfriend. They make her like a slave when she comes out of the spell and there's like this fight going on and she ultimately dies they do like a thing where they try to get they get Buffy to believe that she actually killed her her and Don have this great little conversation they hug and Buffy's talking all crazy Buffy is gonna go to the cops because she thought she killed a human Spike tries to stop her they're outside the police station they have this fight and Spike says you loot you hurt the one you love and I just love that entire scene yeah, Buffy does end up finding out it was Warren, but the trio does end up getting away with this. And I just thought this was a great episode with some great acting. Another episode I love this season is called Normal Again. This is the episode where the trio kind of, they summon a demon and the demon like stabs Buffy. She starts like getting back, going back into like a mental hospital. And I love this storyline because she's in this mental hospital. The doctor and Buffy's mom and dad are there and they keep telling her that the entire like the entirety of this show was made up she's not a slayer all her friends are made up all the supernatural stuff is made up and they really play on this episode of like is this actually real like they do a really good job of going back and forth and Buffy does start to think that her friends and everything is fake Willow does m do like a spell and make a drink for her to drink and Buffy decides that she does not want this drink she ultimately ties them up all in the basement with the demon she lets the demon go to like basically kill her friends so Buffy can go back with her mom and her dad and I love like the conversation too between her and Don where Don just says I'm not even in like your alternate reality it's just 
mom and dad and you. I'm not even there. So you don't even really think of me as real. But Buffy keeps going back and forth. Of course, she ends up ultimately deciding to go with her, stay with her friends. And I love the end of this episode because they actually show the asylum one more time. Like Buffy just stops and stares at the wall and she like is lost in basically a fantasy. That like they lose her and Joyce and her dad is like, Buffy, please come back to us. Please come back to us. And then it cuts the credits. So they actually let you decide if the re if this show is fake or real. I love how they actually left it open. And I just thought that was a great ending to this great episode. I thought this was definitely one of the best episodes of this season. Normal again. I'm sorry. There's no reaction at all. I'm afraid we lost her. Even though Spike had actually became one of my favorite characters in season five, I loved his arc where he starts to fall in love with Buffy. This season, him and Buffy like develops this like toxic sexual relationship, but Spike does actually try to attempt to rape Buffy. Was really like a Spike in this episode. I was like, what the heck, Spike? What are you doing? What is going on? She says, now you know why you, I can't love you. And Xander does know about this. He finds out what happened to Buffy and Spike does leave town to actually go and get the chip removed from his brain to come back and kill Buffy. He does these tests to get rid of this chip and I love how like those tests were really cool how it kind of kept cutting back to him in the last couple episodes but one of my biggest heartbreaks of this entire season of course is Tara's death. Buffy just fought the trio and Warren shows up and he shoots Buffy and another bullet hits Tara and this came out of nowhere like blood goes on to Willow from Tara and Tara says look at your shirt and Tara just falls down and Tara dies talk about one of the biggest out of nowhere deaths one of the hardest deaths of this entire series I was especially the first time I watched this show I was pissed I love Tara so much her and Willow just got back together and you're telling me that they are killing Tara off I freaking loved her so much much. Screw you, Warren! Screw you, Warren! You can't kill Tara, what the heck? And I'm gonna count the last three episodes of this season as one episode. It's a Dark Willow episode. Villains, two to go, and Grave. Talk about a great, like, ending to the season. I thought all three of these episodes were really suspenseful. You, it starts right off where the ambulance picks up Buffy, and Xander goes with Buffy to the hospital. And Willow calls on, like, the god or whatever to bring Tara back, and he says, she died by natural death, I can't bring her back. I already brought Buffy back for you. Willow instantly goes on this rampage looking for Warren and she like shows up at the hospital. She like just pulls the bullet out with magic out of Buffy and brings her back. She's still alive. I think Allison Hannigan did great as the like the villain of the last three episodes. I was kind of rooting for her because they killed Tara. I love Tara so much. Tried to kill Buffy so I was almost rooting for her even though she's kind of like the villain. But I'm also like with the gang too that they want to stop her because they don't want her to lose herself and they don't have Willow no more. I also loved how like Willow went to the magic shop and like absorbed all the information from all those magic books. It was a great visual and just great how quick and how powerful she ends up being. She even goes to Rack and she ends up killing him and taking some power from him. Don shows up to try to stop Willow like she wants to help Willow but of course Willow has almost lost herself and she She's talking about that Dawn was just a ball of energy and she's gonna make her a ball of energy again. So Buffy goes in and gets Dawn out of there. Buffy also knows that she might actually have to stop Willow at the end, but they're trying first not to. And I love how when Willow ends up finding Warren, Warren kind of admits that he doesn't care that he killed his ex-girlfriend. Willow, I love how Willow takes the bullet she got out of Buffy and slowly 
slowly inserts it into Warren and he like suffering. He's the bullet slowly going in. Willow ripped like ripped all the skin off of him at once. I thought that was amazing death. Like holy crap. Willow is she is not playing. I am actually scared scared of Willow now. And then she like catches him on fire and burns him up. I'm bored now. Oh my god. And the episode kind of ends right there and it leads right into the next episode, two to go. And now she's after Andrew and Jonathan. They're in the jail. Anya gets involved. Anya goes to teleports to the jail and tells them, hey, we got to get out of here. So basically this whole episode was like Willow going after Jonathan and Andrew. They're trying to get away. Xander, Buffy, Jonathan and Andrew are driving and like Willow's controlling this semi truck. She's on, she's chasing after him behind him. Just great stuff, suspenseful stuff. And it does end up at the magic shop. They're fighting Willow. They're trying to stop her, but they don't want to kill her. Willow is just showing you how ruthless she is. She's running off pure grief and raw energy, like Rack said. And like all hope seems lost. Everything's going wrong. And at the very end of this episode, Giles shows up. He uses some magic. It cuts to credits. And I was like, holy crap. Like everything, like... I love Giles. I was so happy that he showed up at the end to try to save everybody and try to get Willow back. Willow does a spell like this fireball is going after Jonathan and Andrew and Buffy leaves the magic shop to try to save them. Then like Willow and Giles have this great fight going on and I love like Giles shows up, Buffy hugs him and then Anya has a little funny line about her hair and because Giles says Buffy you cut your hair and they all hug. I just love where they stopped they haven't seen each other in so long they had to hug even all this chaos is going on they had this little sweet moment they threw in there i love when shows does that because you care about these characters you spend so much time watching like an entire show i love that buffy and giles goes and they talk and giles says what's been going on and buffy tells them like everything that's been going on and it sounds like a terrible bad joke and then they both start laughing i thought that was a great moment of leverage I love that they just started busting up laughing because it all sounded super crazy. And then Willow is gonna like destroy the world. Buffy and Don get stuck in the ground. Willow like brings up all these corpses and that Don and Buffy have to fight the corpses. And Buffy does decide that she wants to train Don and actually stop treating her like a little kid and stop protecting her. Like so she gives Don one of the swords and they fight together. Love that. Xander keeps telling her what he loves willow he says he loves yellow crown eating willow and even veiny willow i just love that whole scene it was just a great climax to the season and it's definitely xander's one of xander's best moments of the series too he just says i love you i love you i love you and she finally breaks down they go to the ground and he hugs her just a beautiful moment and even giles and anya has a little beautiful conversation at the end so ultimately this episode was a great ending episode for this season a lot of great acting a lot of great stuff going on the last three episodes were really suspenseful you still want to hang you're willow don't call me that the first day of kindergarten you cried because you broke the yellow crayon and you're too afraid to tell anyone you've come pretty far ending the world not a terrific notion but the thing is yeah I love you. I love crayon breaky willow and I love scary veiny willow. So overall, I think this is a really good season. There's a lot of stuff I love about this season. Just a few big flaws that bring it down a little bit in the overall series, but still a really great season. I think it's a little underrated. I see, it seems like a lot of people are mixed on this season. And guys, let me know in the comments below if you actually love season six, if you love Dark Willow, or if you actually love the trio as the villains, let me know that. Tell me some of your favorite episodes from the season down below we can get a discussion going and definitely be looking out for the season seven review coming up very soon and i will see you guys next time bye guys